Well, there's been a lot of developments on the hardware side of things in the Linux and open source community lately, with Pine64 making uh, various different mm -hmm. products and a lot of stuff happening with Purism too. Well, today we're going to be covering two cool looking new pieces of hardware and hardware development from a Linux computer company called System76, right now on Linux Lounge. Now, I should probably start off this video by saying I am in no way sponsored, I just genuinely think this is cool. Um, but with that said, uh, this is, well, these are two new pieces of hardware by Linux hardware company System76. Now, if you've been in the Linux community but like for any length of time, you've probably at least heard these guys mentioned. They make pretty cool Linux hardware, and traditionally they're known for making, you know, computers and stuff. However, it would seem to be that they're moving into making uh, keyboards and other things like that, um, as they've recently announced in their new uh, blog post. And uh, this is a picture of presumably a prototype or something. Uh, or maybe it is the finished thing, who knows. But um, this is essentially a ergonomic keyboard, kind of for keyboard nerds. And as you can see, it's a pretty weird looking keyboard. You know, there's keys all over the place, and this is for a reason. This keyboard is designed to be both customizable and extremely ergonomic. Um, so, of course, although you may have to do a little bit of relearning to get to grips with this, you know should be more ergonomic because as you can see all the frequently used keys are put in various different places and you can even set it up for your personal workflow um, because you know several of these keys are going to be customizable which pretty cool um, and apparently with this keyboard it's going to be something that keyboard nerds can use but also something that the average person can pick up and use However, looking at the pictures they've got here, I'm not sure. Uh, but I believe that this will have a similar appeal to alternative keyboard layouts, you know, like Colmac or Dvorak, uh, the former I personally have experience with. Um, but I imagine this will be a lot easier to sort of get to grips with than uh, those two things. Um, additionally, um, System76 will be optimizing their operating system Pop! OS to work extremely well with their, this keyboard. Um, as they say here, we're, um, they're going to get auto tiling you know, to work extremely well with this keyboard, which will essentially give you a sort of tight integration between hardware and uh, software in a sort of tiling window manager type setup, which is pretty cool. Um, and another thing that uh, System76 have announced is the Lima Pro laptop. It's a little bit steep, as you can see, um, but I think they're com like sort of going after a more premium uh, market, whereas, for example, Pine64 with the Pinebook are going after more of a sort of budget market. Um, and you know, you can see here it's arriving early in April. Uh, they're really selling the sort of battery life, which this is cool, you know, 21 hours maximum battery life, that's pretty great because I remember not a few years ago that the sort of battery life in Linux was absolutely abysmal, but now there's optimized hardware you can get out there which has battery life pretty much as good as, you know, a, a MacBook for example, which, fantastic. Um, now as I say, the price is a little bit steep, but um, you know, it's not too bad when you compare it to something like a MacBook, and of course the advantage of this machine is it has Core Boot pre-installed and has the Intel management engine disabled, which from a privacy and security standpoint is fantastic, and it should also have advantages like, you know, faster boot up time, other cool features, and that sort of thing, which fantastic. Now, to go through the specs, it's pretty good, you know, you get yourself either an i5 or an i7, it's a quad core, uh, a nice 1080p display, Intel UHD graphics, cool, up to 40 gigabytes of RAM, which why you would need that much in a laptop, I don't know, but it's there, you can have up to two M2 SSDs, up to four terabytes, you've got USB Type-C, and apparently this computer will be able to charge through USB Type-C, which 
very convenient because you know you can take one charger and charge you know your phone your laptop your switch I guess if you have one all through one charger cool but it still has the traditional USB type A um, you get yourself a multi-touch trackpad fantastic and a backlit keyboard so no implementation of System 76's new keyboard design but fair enough and it's going to be a 13 inch laptop and this is a sort of 13 inch premium laptop so I suppose the competition for this, although maybe it's not kind of direct competition because you know, different demographics, I suspect might even be like kind of a MacBook or something, because System76 do make fairly premium hardware. And although this is a bit more expensive than the base model MacBook, you can be sure that, you know, it's going to be freedom respecting because you get your core boot, your internal management disabled, you know, you're not going to be spied on or anything like that. You get slightly better spec, well, better specs generally than the base model MacBook Air, which is cool, and of course, it runs Linux. So, all in all, it looks like a fantastic piece of hardware, and I would hope that it, at some point maybe I'll get to check one out. Who knows? But uh, I think that's it for today's video. Just wanted to show some cool developments happening in the Linux hardware scene. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.